Hi, my name is Leslie Miller. I'm the founder and CTO of Dynamic Ops. I want to talk to you a little bit about to, uh, today about what is operations virtualization? What does that mean? So you know that you know in your environment you're basically being asked to build a cloud, you're doing virtualization, and you know we all know that in virtualization you have you know a set of hardware, and basically on top of that you have a number of operating systems running. And these operating systems are completely you know, unaware of the fact that they're actually sharing this piece of uh, fabric underneath them. They're completely oblivious to the fact that there are other operating systems running in that environment. The cloud is actually no different. What you have is you, know, you have a bunch of um, fabric which is made out of lots and lots of servers and clusters with network and storage. And you have a group of people in your environment, you know, system admins and network admins and storage guys, etc., who manage this on a daily basis for you. They understand that fabric very intimately. They understand exactly the mechanics of it, how everything works in that environment. What happens, though, is you're being asked to present these services up through the organization to you know, a groups of users up here, which are maybe developers. It could be the PA sitting outside of your office. It could be salespeople, traders, etc. The challenge, of course, that you have is that there's absolutely no way you can scale the detailed knowledge that these people have down here who manage the fabric to all the people up here. There's no way that they can understand or even know what is an IP address, a storage path, or any of these things. Think of VDI. We have customers with you know, 100,000 plus users on a VDI deployment. When you have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of users up here, there's no way that they can understand what's happening down in, you know, in the data center, or even which data center they're using, etc. What's actually the truth is that you have a group of people below them. These people are support, operations people, etc., and they're looking after the people above them. They understand those businesses, they understand the applications that's running up here and how those applications interact, the SLAs of those, etc. What they do not know is the understanding of what's going on below here. So essentially, just like in you know, operate, uh, hardware virtualization where your operating system is virtualized, the operating system is completely unaware of what's going on. These people up here has to be completely unaware of what's going on down here in the bottom of the fabric. So essentially, what we here at Dynamic Ops believe is that you need a layer, a layer of abstraction, basically like operations virtualization. The operations people up here and the types of things they're using, the verticals they're playing in, Think of it, you have developers, salespeople, traders, whatever, medical researchers. They all have different processes, different things they want to do every day, different SLAs, etc. Just like in virtualization, you have different operating systems running on that hardware, all sharing this piece of fabric. That's what you're doing in a cloud. You have lots of different groups of people, different departments, etc., different processes, different needs, actually all sharing this very small piece of fabric down here. And so in operations virtualization, we're providing this layer of abstraction. We're allowing people to request services from this. While these guys down here can focus on actually capacity planning, rule sets, etc., and you can apply business policies, policies about data retention, policies about location, etc., anything that you are being demanded on from your business and the people you're competing with, you can put those policies into this layer. And you don't need these people up here to understand what's going on down in the fabric. Think of it. You know, I remember, unfortunately I'm old enough to remember, that in the good old days there were lifts and there were little guys sitting on a chair in that lift on a little stool and he would press the buttons for users walking in. Today, of course, in the modern office block, that's ludicrous. People walk in, they push the button, and the lift is fully automated and goes where it needs to go. As a matter of fact, all these things are very deeply integrated. The same thing happens in your data center. And what we actually see is a lot of vendors asking and providing tooling and saying, we do self-service and we do automation, etc. But they require the person up here to have deep technical knowledge of what's going on below in, in the environment. That's impossible. You cannot possibly do that. So again, I challenge you, go ask your vendor, go ask the people you work with. Do they allow you to virtualize your operations, your business operations from the fabric below? Because that's the only way you're going to do cloud successfully. Thank you very much.